As any child instinctively knows, moms can do anything. It's in their job description. They are our personal chefs, our full-time chauffeurs, and more often than not, our cleaning ladies. Our moms are our real-life Wonder Women, so we don't ever think they could get hurt. Well, the single greatest health threat facing women today is heart disease. Heart disease is the number one killer in women and affects 10 times more women annually than breast cancer. Historically, heart disease was thought to, predom to predominantly affect men, and so two-thirds of clinical research was done in men, by men, and for men. Fortunately for all, we have seen a dramatic decrease in the mortality rates in both sexes in the last 50 years. However, we have seen that women are, there's one group in particular in which we have not seen an improvement, and this is young women between the ages of 25 and 40 years old. This has prompted us to ask, what is going on in women? Why are more and more of our mothers, sisters, and spouses being affected greater than any other demographic? This question has prompted us to look at female-specific risk factors, one of them being contraceptives. Birth control is the most widely used medication amongst Canadian women. And although it is safe for the majority, it does pose some risks. My research looks at the association between birth control and heart disease. Birth control increases a woman's risk of having a heart attack. For most women, this risk is small, especially if you are not obese and do not smoke. However, it is believed that the estrogen component in birth control increases a hormone by the name of angiotensin II. Angiotensin II is naturally circulating in our bodies and is responsible for squeezing our arteries and increasing our blood pressure. Women who are on the pill have higher than normal angiotensin II levels and stiff arteries. Now, stiff arteries are a marker for future heart disease. My research is an observational study in which we measure the arterial stiffness of women on various types of birth control, be it orally through the pill, non-orally through the IUD, the patch, or the vaginal ring, and no forms of birth control. The type of birth control that is associated with stiffer arteries is believed to be more dangerous. Now, it's incredibly important for me to mention that birth control is incredibly effective and by no means is the remedy for heart disease in women to completely abolish birth control. Rather, it is clear that women are misrepresented in studies about heart disease. And I hope that through my research, we can evaluate the risk and benefits of the many different types of birth control and allow our mothers, sisters, and spouses to make an informed decision about their health. Thank you.